Shut up and sit down. Alright guys, welcome to Big Mech's Workshop and Paint Studio. I'm Dodge and today we're finishing off the screamers for Bill. Uh, so Bill paid for all these screamer videos, so thanks again to Bill. <clears throat> and don't forget to drop a comment, say thanks Bill in the comments, because without him you wouldn't have these screamer tutorials. Now we're doing something a bit different, I've started with the Vallejo Black Primer, and we're going over it in a uh, Wolf Grey by Game Air as a pre-highlight. Uh, building this up slowly, still, I'm still using the, the Eclipse by Steinbach, um, excellent airbrush. And um, I'm a bit tired, I was up most of last night building a settlement on Fallout, so if I muck this up, I do apologise. The next colour was a Scorpion Green by Game Colour. This is a bright green colour, but um, the camera wasn't picking up quite how green it was, so... I did change the settings on the camera later on so you can really see how vibrant that green ends up being I thought it ended up being a really nice colour and I want to use it for something else see those pre highlights are showing through and causing this light colour to have shade added to it as you can see I've like enhanced the colour and uh, you can really see how bright it looked to us as well now the next colour is Alien Purple by Game Air. I'm going to use quite a few Game Air paints for this one because they're brighter than the rest of the Vallejo range. Just uh, highlighting all the edges with those. It's not, not even a highlight really, it's more of a, a colour transition. See, he ask, Bill asked me to do something different and just uh, sort of make something up for this paint scheme. The next one's a pink, Squid Pink by Game Air. We're going to do the face and the tail, and probably the underneath with this as well. You know, if we've got purple and greens that sort of complement each other quite well, we'll put pink in between that as part of the palette. Um, you'll see why, how that works later on. Now this bit was a bit tricky. You're going to have to get your paints out ready, your laminate medium, and mix them up ready to do this so you want to start off with mixing barrel tan green and lamiate medium and then drushi violet and lamiate medium both games workshop colors so is the medium you want this really thinned down and what you're going to do is you're going to push the green colors into the green section which you know, is quite self-explanatory but then what we're going to do is we're going to put the purple on after cleaning the brush and blend them in the middle and the lamiate medium is going to keep those two parts um, mixed really watered down so there's going to be no hard line so you're going to get a nice transition over the top of there with the shade from green to purple all you have to do is make sure you've got enough laminate medium and as you can see it's shaded in the green areas and uh, brought out the purple even more the next colour is Colia Green Shade No, sorry, I painted the uh, face with duck egg with the airbrush and then we're using the Colia Green Shade by Games Workshop and Lamiate Medium. We're going to keep going back and forth from this face and keep working on it. Now the purples we've done on the tails, we're now using Jushi Violet again. Uh, we did this on one of the other screamers to start halfway down the tail where you want the shading to start and then pulling all the way down to the bottom where it will uh, the pigment will build up the most also works quite well if you do the underneath a darker colour with it as you can see there's not a hard line and you can just build that up in layers working your way further and further down the tail and now we've done the face and washed it it's still a bit patchy so I'm going to go ahead and use some duck egg by Model Air spraying downwards using the cone of the airbrush to hit all those highlights Let's bring, back, bring back some of those bright colours And I know what you're thinking, it doesn't match the tail, but it will in a minute, because now we're going back to Jushi Violet and Lamiate Medium, blending the top of the face with the back eyes and the rest of the body. As you can see, that's really, really watered down. Um, don't want to go too strong with that. Starting at the front of the face, pulling backwards, that way it'll blend the face to the rest of the purples behind it. Because this thing's supposed to be alive, sort of. It's a, it's a creature. I do enjoy doing creatures, but 
that's just ten, tends to be how I uh, paint them. This dry brush is the original duck egg mixed with a bit of off-white by Game Color. This is just to catch the um, eyelids and all the other details. Also catching those other purple bits because there's no, not really much paint on this dry brush. I can get away with uh, dry brushing over the purples and it will act almost like a filter and a, as, and a highlight at the same time. It won't be too stark or obvious. Now, we did the eyes this way on the Red Screamers. Um, this is Bale or Brown by Games Workshop. I'm just using a small brush. Um, you can use a, it's a small layer brush. You can use smaller brushes if you need to. And obviously, you know, you can see the patches there that I've missed, but I'm doing this on camera. I'll neaten those up in a bit. Just take your time with this because you don't want to hit any of the whites that you've done. Now it's time for some Dryad Bark by Games Workshop because we're going to do the the bone colours the same way we did the red ones because the cold blue bone that we did for the blue, if you're on Patreons and you've seen that one, um, it's not going to work for this, it's not, they're not going to stand out enough. So we wanted something a bit warmer at the front. Now this is only the first layer of me doing what could be pretty much considered a glaze. It's All it is is Zandri dust watered down a lot, then the watery paint added to the brush and most of it removed. Now that's going to get built up with lots and lots of layers which I basically skipped on the camera because you just do one layer, you let it dry, you do another layer, you let it dry and working your way further and further back down that tooth. As you can see, it's starting to get a nice transition. Then we're going to do the same thing with the Shabti bone. And looking at it, that brush is uh, on its way out by the looks of things. I really need to go to Games Workshop pick up another one. Because I do like their small layer brush. I'm usually a Winsor Newton fan, but they did change the brushes a while back and they've been a lot better since. Now we're going to highlight the eyes with Zamzi Desert. Starting from the left of the eye, pulling to the right, and we're just highlighting the center. So you don't want to color in the entire eye. You want to make sure this is watered down quite a lot. Build it up in layers if you need to. Well, you probably will need to, like two or three layers with this. As you can see, those teeth that I did are looking a bit rough, but I've been, <laughs> I had so many spikes to paint on this thing. It was taking forever but I'll sort those out with some washes later on. Now we're going to wash the eyes with Reclam Flesh Shade. And you want that to sort of, if it's going to pull anywhere, you want it to pull in between the eyeball and the eyelid to add that little bit of um, warmer color because it's a slightly red wash. Makes the eyes go slightly orange, but then we're going to highlight those again, which gives them a lot more depth. As you can see there, they uh, look a lot more three-dimensional now and a lot more round. Then it'll be Zamzi's head as, uh, Zamzi Desert again. Just highlighted in the middle over the original colour. That's basically how you could do most of your painting. You do a dark colour, do a highlight on it, wash it down, put the original highlight back on and you tend to get a decent enough transition. That's the basics of it anyway. Now I grab the earth shade with a laminate medium. Because if you use water it can dry uh, quite cloudy. I'm gonna build this up in layers, uh, make sure we get the transition that we want. Now a shabty bone was used to start drawing the uh, lines on the teeth. It's not the way I'd normally do this, I'd usually just uh, do the lines with the teeth, then airbrush them over the top with the same colour to blend them in, then do some lines with a, a brighter colour, blend the, the edge in again with an airbrush. Um, but I'll show you that on something else, like the Gorkonaut video, which I'm looking forward to doing. As soon as I've finished doing the audio for this, I get to muck about with that. So. 
Okay, to pick out what colour yellows I'm going to use on it. Now, there's so much going on in this model that the depth is, not the depth, well, the back parts, what looked like scales, weren't standing out anymore. So what I did was mix up the scorpion green with a little bit of a shabti bone. And I'm only highlighting the green parts where the base colour of the creature is green. As you can see, if it's really green underneath and around it, I'm doing green that side. And then what we're going to do is switch to highlight the purple the other way around. I just wanted to make it look a bit more odd, just uh, something different. Could possibly go for a second highlight on those, but I don't really think it's necessary. As uh, this was taking a really long time anyway. The next colour was alien purple and I mixed off white into it instead of a shabti bone to get a brighter purple colour because the shabti bone was making it a bit more cream, didn't want that. We wanted the purple to be uh, nice and vibrant so it stands out. Also these two edge highlights of different colours, you can overlay them ever so slightly if the paint's watered down enough and they'll blend together. same way we blended the washes together on the back of the creature you can do the same thing with the edge highlights uh, I did really enjoy this one I thought it was a lot of fun I'd like to do some more of these videos where people just get some figs sent to the studio and we'll try out some color schemes for you guys um, I think it's a really good idea that Bill, like, you know, Bill sent us those, was like, can you work out a paint scheme for my uh, screamers? I was like, okay, let's do that. And basically, buys a box of three screamers, and we did three different paint schemes. I'd love to do some more stuff like that. And that's basically all we're going to have time for in this video. So if you uh, liked our video, hit like. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit subscribe. And uh, if you'd like to watch all of our videos and see all our extra content and everything else we offer, Come visit us on Patreon. Um, we've got a Patreon page that's going very slowly, but it's slowly getting there. We've been working on it for the past month. And um, stop by on there, say hi, and share with all your friends. We'll see you in the next one. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.